heard they wanna pop stuff. They like, is it you? Vacation. So I take them on a trip to St. Paul. There's no rap beef, they don't wanna get involved. They do it for the cause, I do it for the cause. Like Nemo, they lost, and I be like Joe. No photo shoot, where she got. Hey guys, it's Jaylene, and for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I stretch every day with my Flexi Stretcher. This device is amazing because you can use it for resistance and it's also good for stretching your ligaments. Now, the first exercise I'm going to do requires me to put my feet into the loopholes. Now, this kind of took a while only because I had to keep adjusting it. However, when I'm finally able to put my feet through the loopholes, I'm able to extend myself and my legs out into a middle split. After I'm done adjusting to the band, I go ahead and start stretching from side to side. This is just a simple warm up stretch that I like to do so I can open my hips up gently. I go ahead and try to get all the kinks and knots out. Taking my time. <laughs> I did speed up this process though because I didn't want it to be too boring and I actually really did take my time. So this is just a sped up process but please don't rush. I don't want anyone getting injured. Then I start stretching my left split going forward and back. I like to stretch forward and try to straighten my back leg as much as I can, pushing against the band for resistance. Then when I go back, I like to go ahead and try and square my shoulders out. Then I do the same thing for my right side. Go front and then I go back. And then I go ahead and keep my legs straight, try to have perfect turnout because sadly I do not. But it's okay because I'm gonna get there someday, boo boo. Now for the next exercise that I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and lean forward on my stomach. I do have to hold my band in the back with my arms only because I don't want the band to like snap against my bottom or anything. But for this exercise, I go ahead and I bend and straighten my legs. This goes ahead and straightens my inner thighs a lot more and it helps me to focus even more on my turnout. Once my thighs start to burn really bad, I go on my back and I do a couple of crunches. After I'm done doing the crunches, I start to use a resistant method which is when I put my legs together and I slowly open them, trying to stretch as far as I can against the band. Then I'll do my left leg and right leg, pushing against the band, trying to get as much resistance as I can. Okay, so at this point, I'm like completely tired, as you can tell. But for the next exercise, I go ahead and I stay in the straddle on my back and I slowly move my feet up and down, engaging my lower abs. Then I stretch forward and I keep doing this to get any kinks out of my back and I slowly slide my hands down and put my head down at the same time. Then I go into the butterfly and I do the same thing. I try to straighten my back out and push my nose down toward my toes. This also helps me open my hips because as I'm pushing down, I'm also pushing my knees to the ground.
This next exercise is going to be focusing on my back and my shoulders. My shoulders are no longer as flexible as they used to be. So what I do is that I use this band to help me stretch my shoulders forward and backwards. I slowly start rocking back and forth, not rocking too hard and not rocking too little. And here I am preparing myself for the next exercise. This next exercise is to focus mainly on my lower back. Sometimes my back is really tight, so I use this exercise to try and loosen it up. Then I start to focus on straightening behind my knee. Sometimes when I'm turning or I'm doing leg extensions, I don't fully stretch behind my knee. So I use this time to focus on it. I do this both on my right and my left leg. As you can see, my other leg is bent and flexed on the floor and that's to help me be stable and for me to help with my turnout. Then I go on my back and I strain my arms and try to get my knee as close to my chest as I can, keeping it straight. Then I'll switch to the other side and I'll do the same thing and I'll hold it for a couple of seconds, getting a good deep stretch. For my next exercise, I'm going into a lunge and I use the padding of the band against my ankle and I stretch backwards, pushing my hip forward. For this next exercise, I'm going to be holding onto a bar just for support. I lean forward and try to do a ponche with my legs straight and my chest up. As you can tell, this is not my best side. This is actually my bad leg. I am not a righty at all. However, I'm trying to stretch as much as I can forward. And after this, I go ahead and do my tip. I'm slowly going to tilt over, trying to keep the balance in the middle of my foot and coming back up. Then I'm gonna lean forward into my forward stretch and lean as far back as I can with my leg straight. Of course, I'm gonna do the same thing on my other side. I'm gonna lean forward in a ponche, trying to keep my legs straight and my back up as much as I can. Right now, I'm gonna transition into a tilt.
The next thing I'm about to do is the same thing I did on the other side. I put my leg in front of me and I go back as much as I can while pushing my hips forward. The next exercise I'm getting prepared for is trying to get a scorpion. Once again, this is my bad side. So I am struggling quite a bit. However, I think I'm managing. I'm leaning forward while stretching and arching my back by grabbing my ankle. Then I'm going to do my scorpion on my good side and this is the last exercise that I'm going to be showing you for today. I want to say thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. I'm going to try and post as often as I can and yeah, see you later.